a happy Juneteenth it is. I'm grateful that we were able to get my Jeep started, even though I don't have a radio right now. It's not my starter, it's my battery. And I'm grateful that I can think of a solution. I was gonna take the doors off today too, y'all, but um, it's a little windy out. Like it's hot, but it's not hot at the same time. Like the sun is out and it might be 87, but the wind is blowing like just enough so that you're actually not hot is really the perfect weather like dead ass like so weird so look i gotta go to walmart and grab some stuff i don't want to cut my jeep off i do want to leave it running but at the same time i do want to cut it off because i want to see if a reset would make the radio work but in case the reset doesn't make the radio work and the Jeep just doesn't start while I'm out here in Walmart. For that reason, I'm not gonna cut the Jeep off. But I'm gonna lock it up, I'm gonna keep it running, and I'm gonna take the key with me. So if I'm in here for 30 minutes, so be it. At least the Jeep will have a decent charge. I like these, these are stylish. These are really stylish. So these could actually be the ones that go in my closet. Damn, have times gotten this bad? They still in this or something? I think so. Bruh. Y'all invested in a whole... Yeah, that's crazy. Bruh. <laughs> wow. I don't know why they're locking it up. That is what... Bruh. I've never seen anything like this. People are stealing Tide Pods? Some lady told me they're sniffing it or whatever. Sniffing it? I don't know, some lady that was like, feel they're sniffing it? I'm like, no, I didn't know what? That. You... Crackheads, snip, oh my, oh my God. That is crazy. I didn't even come for no Tide Pods, but just the display just really threw me off. Maybe it's a marketing campaign. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, they just, yeah. I, but nah, it's not just the Tide, it's the other stuff too. Damn. Oh, we might need a key for real, cause uh, let me see what I let me see. Do they do they lock up my brand? Let me see, cause I don't see it. Um, I use Ecos. Which one? Ecos. Ecos. Oh, here it go. Yup, y'all got it in the cage. Ecos is a plant-based laundry detergent, and it's hypoallergenic, and it doesn't leave like all those chemicals in your clothes to make you itch and stuff. And it's really good. It smells so good. Shout out Ecos. Yeah, you should. But first get the key so you can get. <laughs> How come you guys got it locked up like this? Um, because of the in-stock problems we're having. In-stock? Yeah. How do you mean? The associates were just not stocking them right. Just throwing whatever they wanted up here. Oh. Yeah. So you guys are going to do every aisle like this? Um, that's what I heard, but I'm not sure. Hopefully not. For real? Can I just grab the blue light down yeah, here? Thank you. Well, it does look a lot more organized. It's now too, like everything. Uh huh. For sure, for sure. So it has nothing to do with people stealing laundry detergent. No, I mean we still have some of them open. But yeah. I mean this is the one that we were having a lot of problems with. So I got what I needed, man. I got this charger. So in the event that my Jeep does cut off, I'm hoping that this will work. This is the EverStart. They say it's on sale. I should have took a picture of that. It was on sale in case they give me a hard time. Okay, so we don't necessarily have to go to Home Depot anymore. I left the car running for a considerable amount of time, so we should have a pretty good charge on the battery by now. So here comes State Farm texting me with all these confirmation questions, do a survey, leave a good, I'm like, bro, okay, this is what I gotta go through just for asking for help? Like, bro, I don't wanna do all of that. I pay you, so I shouldn't have to do all of that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But you know what's even crazier? Riding in silence, bro. This day has been wrong. Today's Juneteenth. I was supposed to be doing black people shit. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, all roads led to me getting new batteries for Nipsey today. Um, I went back to the last shop that worked on my car and that was um, an audio installation shop. They did some things, but they checked their work and they were like, yeah, our work has nothing to do with why your battery died. Uh, we suggest just get a stronger battery. So I was like, you know what? Why not just take care of that today? I'm doing everything else, right? 
So they recommended me a shop to go to and the shop where I got my battery, um, they do installations, which was really cool because I've never actually seen someone take out my auxiliary battery. A lot of people talk about them, but I've never actually seen someone do it up until now. And let me tell you, man, it kicked this guy's ass. Shout out to him because man, this auxiliary battery gave him a run for his money, but we found it. Oh, and spoiler alert, it's not underneath the battery like everybody be saying. Son of a beautiful person. Oh my God. Let me see what Bryce wants to do. So after we finally got the auxiliary battery out, we were able to test it. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but the auxiliary battery tested good. So I don't know if we just did all this work for nothing, but I figured since we already got that battery out, I wouldn't want to wish taking out an auxiliary battery on my worst enemy. And since he did all that work to take it out, I just went ahead and got two brand new heavy duty batteries, my main battery and an auxiliary battery. The main battery should last me about seven to nine years, allegedly, and the auxiliary battery should last about one to two years, allegedly. So we're gonna see how it goes, but let me tell you, putting the batteries back in was just as stressful as taking them out. So once again, shout out to this guy because he really like was out here like doing his big one. And I think this might've been his first time taking out the auxiliary battery on a Jeep. And let me tell you, he did an amazing job. So shout out to him. And I will say this, even though this took a lot of grunt work, it did fix the problem and that's all I wanted. You feel me? All right, it's the moment of truth. Moment of fucking truth. <laughs> Let's see. Literally nothing at all. I have lights. I got lights too. It's not. Oh wait, there we go. There we go. What'd you do different? Girl, don't ever disrespect me like that. Uh... <laughs> Bruh, I finally made it to Home Depot to get this stud finder. Um, I don't need nothing fancy schmancy. I just spent a whole heck of a lot of money, way more than I wanted to spend. So y'all had to know, today wasn't finished today. I get all the way to Home Depot, find what I'm looking for, and I'm like, okay, I can finally go home and finish doing what I started this morning, cleaning out my closet, doing laundry, da 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 da. Man, tell me why I get to the counter at Home Depot and these fools don't even take Apple Pay. And I did not have my wallet on me like at all. All I had was my cell phone. So they was just like, well, I guess you gotta come back another time. I was like, oh no hell, you have no idea. So I walked around the store until I found this nice lady and her husband and they were willing to pay for the purchase for me and I Apple paid them right on the spot. As it turns out, both the lady and her husband were Jeep owners. So it all worked out according to plan. Thank God for them, shout out to them too. I tell you, this day has definitely not gone as planned for sure. I named the other video, things didn't go as planned, but this video should definitely be called things didn't go as planned because whoa. And this is why you gotta be careful what you name your YouTube videos because life and death is in the power of the tongue for sure. I feel like just Already this morning has been a video in and of itself, but we go uh we gonna keep this day going y'all Sorry y'all. I got good news and I got bad news Um, I don't know which one y'all want to hear first, but I'm gonna start with the bad news Nothing went as planned today you guys. I have all these bags now. This is not all trash um, but it is all gonna be thrown out or given out or donated out or something only these two are trash the rest of these are clothes that i've already bagged and also you have the two bins of shoes that i'm gonna end up donating now i'm gonna be adding to this in clothes for sure maybe not shoes but clothes for sure also more bad news is that i have lots and lots and lots of laundry to do for the next couple of days like that's what i'm gonna be occupied with just minimizing this adding more stuff to the giveaway pal sorting out clothes that sort of thing also more bad news my battery died this morning y'all i mean y'all saw it you know but i guess uh all's well the ends well because we are grateful for 
the good news, which is that I am continuing to minimize space and free up space in my room and in my life. So we got this side pretty much cleared out. Uh, we are throwing away these shoe boxes. We got the hats taken off of that and we're gonna get these bags put up shortly. And as we continue to minimize this pile right here, all of this is gonna be either thrown away or accounted for. Also good news, I got two brand new batteries in my Jeep today. So hopefully I don't have any more battery issues. I got heavy duty reliable batteries. Also something else I wanna show y'all that I'm super proud of today. I did get these fixed and they are rock solid. You feel me? Like these are not going anywhere. They're not moving, they're not budging. I did a really good job. Now this project kicked my ass. I had to use a stud finder. As you can see, I had markings on the wall. Like I put the holes in the wrong places where I thought the holes was going. But this is the garage, you feel me? And this is a learning experience. Your garage is really where you're supposed to do all your work. And who knows, I might even do something custom to this wall in the future um, just to declutter the garage. But yeah, man, got it done. So now I can take the doors off. Unfortunately, I missed Juneteenth yesterday, so I wasn't able to do that. Um, so I wasn't even able to take the doors off at all. You feel me? I just did all that for nothing. Well, not for nothing. It is for something. It's, it's actually going to save me a lot of time in the future. Like today, if I want to take my doors off. I got my new Jeep batteries. I still got this Joker right here, um, just in case of emergency. And the best news yet, I finally got this daggum closet cleaned out. Now mind you, everything's not in it yet. So you guys let me know what you think. So you walk in and here's all of my bags. Um, I love how everything just has a space. Now I'm actually gonna throw away those shoe boxes, but down here, I like to keep the Louis Vuitton bags. It gives the closet a little style, you know what I mean? Have all my luggages up there, bags here. I'm eventually gonna put more bags up there at the top shelf. Um, then I have my hat collection right here. Over here, these are my winter jackets. I didn't even wear this jacket last winter, but uh, I minimized my jacket collection, got a few like a pea coat and some other jackets. And then these are like other bags and stuff that I would keep in my Jeep. This right here is my nice shirt slash jersey section. Nothing too crazy going on, you know what I'm saying? A little OVO jersey back there. I have to hang up way more stuff, so I know it's a little bit in here, but there's more clothes. This right here, these are my Letterman jackets. I have quite a collection of Letterman jackets. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Letterman jackets. Uh, I don't know what came over me this year and last year, but Letterman's just really stole my heart and I just went crazy. Um, minimized all of my shoes. So we just got, you know, select few. I wanted to have some options when working out and running and stuff like that. Just like athleisure type wear. Back there in the corner, um, those are like vans and just like shoes when I want to like just I don't know like run to the store to be honest with you I might give away some more of those um down here we got the cool Kai's we got the cherries the pandas the Louis the Balenci's we got Crocs Amiri slides back there um just like you know just like little, little styling shoes here we got the shoes on my wall too but yeah, uh, I'm gonna get rid of these shoe boxes as I said. Then we got the dirty clothes bins, one for dark clothes, one for light clothes to make it easier. I just wanted to stay organized for real. So this is where we at with it, y'all. Um, this is the closet for real. Well, y'all have seen my garage. Y'all have seen my closet. Thank you guys for rocking with me for Juneteenth. I hate that I wasn't able to go to the beach and eat barbecue like everybody else, but I hope y'all had a good time doing it because my day was crazy. You hear me? Crazy. Like, 
wow that being said if you like this video or if you just felt sorry for me because i didn't get to do what you got to do go ahead and subscribe to my channel i would love to have you in wits world as you can see things do get crazy over here i don't even be planning for it but life be life in but we just gonna keep on trucking man no pun intended anyway y'all i gotta go do some laundry till next time peace